from your Kartik Ravana Karte and this is Karte Tutorials. Right. So in this class, let us discuss about this Prehost and Woodward dihydroxylation. Right. So what is this? Right. So this is one named reaction. Right. This one is one is reaction and this is second reaction. Let us see. So why what is dihydroxylation? So first let me discuss about this Prehost. Right. Prehost reaction. Right. So what happens? Let us see that. Right. So in this reaction, see. Uh, let me write the reactants. So here alkene should be there. That is the condition. Alkene should be there. This thing you need to remember. Alkene. To this what we add? Iodine in presence of silver salt like compound. AgO BZ. I hope you know the structure of BZ. And benzene here I will use as a solvent. One thing you remember. See here. During this step. No water should be there. No water. Right. So uh, here uh, water is not there, right? So here pure it is non-polar compounds are there, right? So uh, uh, water should not be there. Then I'll get this kind of product. Here I'll get this product. See here. OBZ one comes below the plane and one more OBZ comes above, above the plane, right? So how we will get everything we shall discuss in the mechanism but here we are studying only the reaction right in second step what we add now we will add water here hydrolysis then i'll get this product so i'll get this product right so it is nothing but di dihydrox hydroxylation happened right so alkene is converted to this dihydroxylation because two OH groups are there one OH is above one OH is below right so it is nothing but dihydroxylation Right. So what kind of hydroxide I got? I got, see here, let me write with red marker. It is trans. Or I can write it as anti. So what are the things you need to remember? See here, let me give you. In preodes and woodward have. Right. In preodes, P comes first. Preodes. Here no water. There should not be any water. We will get trans or anti diol diols we get right diol you call right one two diol right these are one to see here uh, come to the product here one carbon this is second carbon so we'll get one two diol so we'll get trans or anti one two diol because one is above one is below it stands for trans or anti means one uh, oh will be below whereas one more oh will be above since these are at 1 2 position, we can call it as 1 2 diol. Right? 1 2 trans diol. Or instead of trans, you can call it as anti diol also. Right? Other things remain same. So, this is the uh, pre host reaction. Right? Pre host. Let us discuss about this uh, Woodward reaction. Then we shall compare. Then we shall see about the mechanism. Right? So, first let us understand how this reaction happens. Woodward reaction. I have taken both these simultaneously because both are same only. Only difference will be in uh, product. See here. Same compound I will take. Alkene here also I have taken alkene. Same reagent I am going to add. Iodine in presence of silver acetate. Uh, silver salt. But here hydrolysis water is there here. So water present during the first step whereas in above reaction previous there was water was absent so here what i'll get same as uh, above i'll get like this only right so here oec i'll get and above the plane oec i'll get right and here again water will be there but acidic hydrolysis we do then we'll get this product see here what kind of product it is it is also diol but it is cis diol or syndiol right so this is also see here one carbon two carbon so this is one two cis i can call or syn syn means both are on same side both are above syndiol right so uh, syn see here syn means both oh are above or they can be both oh can be below so such compounds if if they are one two position then we call it as one two cis or syndiol 
both they can be either above or they can be below so what is the difference you understood see here both the side i used to get dihydroxyl compound only here also dihydroxyl here also i got dihydroxyl but here the difference is see here one side i will get anti or this uh, trans diol uh, here i will get cis or syn diol that's the difference so how you how you are going to remember it uh, i will give you the shortcut thing right just to make it star mark see Priots and Woodward reaction is there, right? So P comes first alphabetically and W comes next, right? Prehost. So it is absence of water. Absence of water. Alkene is converted to trans or anti diol. One to diol, right? Whereas Woodward, it is in presence of water. Presence of water. And here alkene is converted to cis or syn diol. Like that you remember. Right. So you may ask sir why it will give anti diol. Whereas this uh, woodward reaction will give cis diol. Right. So that I will explain through this mechanism. So mechanism. Why should we understand mechanism? Because there it will tell why it is anti, why it is syn. Everything it will explain there. Right. So let us uh, discuss about the mechanism. So let us discuss about this pre-host reaction or pre-host dihydroxylation right one to dial we will get right so i will take this alkene simple alkene right to this alkene i will add iodine uh, silver obz i hope you know benzene see here here no water absence of water water should not be there right so uh, let me uh, give you some things see here AC means this group CS3 CO group this can be written as like this also we will write CS3 CO so acetyl group we call right BN means benzyl benzyl for example this one benzene ring ha having CH2 group it will attach somewhere right so it is benzyl right so we can simply write as PH CH2 like this right so BZ is there so it is nothing but benzoyl Bonjol, its structure is C6H5CO. This carbon will be attached to some other thing here. Some other it will attach, right? So PHCO, like we can so right? So here, uh, silver sort of benzoyl is there. So here, what is there? It will be like this, right? See here, BZ, it is like AG. O B Z they they will write so it means E G plus O B Z minus so B B Z structure you should know this is B Z structure right it is B Z C O O it is having minus charge and silver is having plus charge right so it is silver salt of this uh, benzoyl right so this is how you should know right I hope you got it uh, in the above reaction they uh, wrote E G O C L sorry E G O A C means CS3 CO O minus is there along with that silver is there. It is the structure of this AGOC AGO BZ structure is this one, right? This things you should know, right? This is how you should analyze it, right? So I have given the structure of AG CS3 CO BN means benzyl, it is the structure BZ means benzoyl, it's the structure is this like that. If you remember, you could able to. Right. So let us uh, come to this Prevost reaction. Right. So what we were discussing. So uh, we have this alkene. To this, I am adding the silver uh, salt in presence of iodine. So this reaction, you know, electrophilic reaction with iodine, it will be like always here, below the plane or above the plane, it will react and it will form uh, iodonium ion. This thing, bromonium ion, you have studied, right? Same way, iodium, iodonium ion will form so it will react like this so iodine will be like I, I, I right so this iodine will leave the system right this mechanism you know so what happens here here plus charge will be there iodine will be uh, having like this lone pairs so this will donate its lone pair so it will become iodonium ion right so iodine will be having positive charge so this is called iodonium ion like this right so this is how we will get right so i have this salt agobz 
minus EG plus OBZ minus. I have given you the structure of OBZ, right? So it is it is like C6H5COO minus. So this minus can attack here. Right. Since iodine is below the plane, this OBZ, since iodine is bulkier and it is below the plane, OBZ will attack from above because it is also bulky. Right. So let us see that. So what happens? See here. Other things will be as it is. So iodine will be below the plane as it was initially and it became neutral because this electron density it will take and iodine becomes neutral and this OBZ will be bulkier and it will attack from above and it will be OBZ O B Z right instead of writing BZ I can write COPH simply instead of writing all BZ right so till this I hope you got it right so next what happens right see here this oxygen is having lone pairs so iodine is a good living group so from this lone pair from above the plane it will attack this iodine lose the system initially see it is below the plane now see what happens as it attacked from above we got this structure see are you able to follow me see here what i am drawing just you look at into this so o is there here so o it attacked from above because it, as it is above it attacked from above so oxygen gets positive charge and here pH group will be there so oxygen is electron active term it can't have positive charge so it takes this electron density so carbon gets positive charge right so let me draw like this so this oxygen is above here here oxygen from attacked above so this carbon gets positive charge now right so here no water water is not there in this reaction provokes reaction in first step but i have plenty of this obz minus right so this obz is a um, what bulky group so what it will do it will attack from below right so it will attack as here above was there so above group bulky group so above is bulky and this bulky group should attack from below otherwise steric hindrance will be there if it attacks so it will attack from below only as it is also bulky and here it as it is above it should it has no other way it will attack from below only right so i'll get this product see here so this will be above here like this o as soon as it attacks like this this bond comes on comes here directly right that positive charge will be neutralized right so i'll get like this structure co ph i hope you got it how i got so above bond is above only but this obz attacked from below o b z instead of writing bz i will write c o p h right so first step is till this next what i will do i will do hydrolysis s3 o plus so hydrolysis we have studied it will break this bond this bond how it will break h h will add this side o h will add this side h will add this side o h will add this side like that it will break so what all the products will get see here I will get this thing. So I got OH here and below the plane OH came. So I got anti diol. Anti 1 2 diol. Or I can call it as trans 1 2 diol. Right. Other products will be benzoic acid. Because OH here, two molecules of benzoic acid. Right. pH CO, CO OH. So benzoic acid it is. If I want to draw the exact structure, it will be like this. So I'll get benzoic acid. I hope you understood the mechanism, right? So this hydrolysis, how it breaks everything. This is simple mechanism. If I want to show, let me draw here. See, this is above, whereas this is below. CO, pH, and here also. CO, pH. Hydroxylysis means see here water. O hydrolysis, water will be there. H2O instead of writing OH2, I'll show. It will attack here. The electron density comes on oxygen again comes back and this electron density goes to oxygen so one side i will show other side you can do by yourself right so this is simple mechanism o minus c here so here o p h and this oxygen gets one h one more h and oxygen will be having positive charge so it takes the electron density and this electron density moves and i will get this thing here o h right and here it it, it become p h c o o h benzoic acid other things which was here same thing do happens and i'll get below the plane oh here so 
want to trans diol i will get right so this is how hydro hydrolysis happens right so this is about this uh, uh, which reaction it is uh, prehost reaction right prehost reaction right i hope you understood it right so here water is not there how this happened why it only attack uh, happened right this things you should know right next let us see about this woodward right woodward reaction how we get only cis right that thing we shall discuss woodward reaction so what happens in woodward reaction it is also very simple see i'll take this compound alkene but here water molecule will be there see here iodine in presence of agoac ag plus oac minus will be there here water is there so in presence of water so h3o plus right so here i have told a uh, simple reaction it is iodination means i i i can write so this electron density comes through this carbon to attack and iodine will leave so I, i will get this product here see iodine uh, let us think that it is above and this gets positive charge and i have got one more i minus so iodine will be having lone pairs so what it will do from this it will attack here and i will get this product only both will be above the plane only see sorry sorry i should not draw like this let me show it like this see both will be above the plane only because iodine gave so this is iodine gets positive charge so we call it as iodonium ion right i hope till this you got so what i am adding i am adding this silver acetate right structure i have shown you ag plus oac minus means ac means co cs3 so here one more oxygen is there it is having negative charge and here ag plus will be there right because of which see here so i have this o a c minus is there so it will attack from below because iodine has having bulky size electron density so repulsion will be there so it should always attack from below as it is above as iodine is above this oac will attack from below right i hope you are getting it so i'll get this product see here iodine will be above and here below the plane o ac co ch3 i can show right co ch3 further further what happens so silver ions will be there in last step also i didn't show silver has more affinity to this halogens it will take so silver has got tendency uh, more affinity to halogens so it makes this uh, halogens as a good living group right so because of which what happens this oxygen donates its lone pair this halogen takes the electron density on it and goes with uh, silver right so i'll get this product see here right so i'll get c so since it is below and this iodine living group is above this will act uh, it will attack that iodine from below only because iodine have to live which is sterically hindered so it should always attack below only i will get this product only below the plane only i will get this product here o co ch3 oxygen gets positive charge as it donated its lone pair and here silver has got more affinity to iodine it will form agi silver iodide right it will form this uh, covalent compound further what happens this oxygen can't have positive charge but in this reaction i have water molecule because of water molecule it has got lone pair it will attack this carbon and this electron density goes so it becomes neutral see here let me show that so here i'll get below the plane oxygen here below the plane oxygen to this carbon uh, the oh group attached now right so we know that this always this oh bond will be always weaker right so this bond can be easily broken like this so we can break like this and this bond comes on oxygen so see what happens just you observe i hope you will get it so o minus will be here and below the plane here o co ch3 right are you able to get it so in last step what we do just we do hydrolysis s3o plus means acidic condition so h plus will be there excess 
so this O negative will take this H and here also hydrolysis if I do I have told here H comes here OH comes so I will get acetic acid and here this things here just if I want to show you I will get these things OH here and here also OH other thing I will get acetic acid CH3COOH right CH3COOH right so this is how it happens so acetic acid instead of writing CH3COOH I can write ACOH like directly right do this so what I got so I got this uh, cis diol what kind of diol it is cis diol cis means both are on same side or I can call it as syn diol right so this is how the mechanism happened right I hope you got it I hope I did clearly I explained everything right so uh, again let me tell you Priot's reaction P means Priot's reaction absent absence of water I'll get trans or anti diol other reagent you should remember there is alkene to this I will add iodine silver salt I will add silver uh, like um, OBZ or OAC like salt we use right so I will get uh, first step uh, in last step we will do hydrolysis no doubt then we will get this uh, trans or anti diol right whereas for woodward reaction woodward reaction what we take woodward we have here in presence of water we add all the reagent iodine and uh, something AG OAC right this salt we add in presence of water because of which we will get this uh, uh, diol which is cis diol means both OH will be either above or both OH will be either below right so we will get cis diol or syn diol we call right so these are the things let us uh, see few examples right so examples let me give you uh, example for this both the things one side I will give this prehost prehost example and this side I will get woodward example example right so uh, let me give them so what happens so for prehost I have one thing here see I will take time little time because it is little bulky structure right here below the plane methyl is there double bond double bond double bond O and here methyl here alkin here same reagent see here ACOAG right in presence of iodine first step second step they are doing this S3O minus sodium salt of methanol in presence of benzene solvent and in last step they are doing hydrolysis means water is absent above see here water is absent so water is absent means you should uh, able to tell that we will get trans thing only right so other things remains as it is only the alkene will be reduced see how it will reduce so you should uh, remember only isolated alkene it is for isolated we will get trans diol OH1 will be below and the OH will be above like this right this is how reaction happens other things remains as it is right so this is the example for this prehost for woodward let us see one example for woodward right so this example I will take sorry let me give like this this example come here 7 molecule of CH2 groups are there here also 7 molecule of CH2 here COOH group is there so to this I will add iodine in acetic acid and silver salt right so acetic acid silver salt uh, we can directly write as uh, 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 silver salt of acetate right that thing we can do and I will add KOH in presence of methanol so here uh, water will be there water and third step again hydrolysis I will do means acid just water containing acid there since water is there and it will be woodward so alkene will be converted to what let me show you everything COH here and here also seven times and here this alkene will be there right so this alkene let me remove that so alkene will be converted to syn 
diode either both oh can be above or both oh will be below so these are the two examples for pre host and this woodward reaction right so little bit my computer is slow so it doesn't matter for you now right so let us see few more examples for this pre hosts pre host reactions uh, these are very interesting let us see them right so first example right so what is this this is my alkene to this i am adding iodine cs3 coo ag in presence of uh, aqueous that is oh minus aqueous like this they will go right so uh, water is there sorry water is not there second step we are we are adding this water right so water should be abs absent in pre host right so this second step we are adding water not first step see here first step it is pure uh, organic right so water h2o absent so it should be pre host so i am talking about only pre host reactions right so what i will get you will tell you will get this compound only right direct level right this is trans product will get right so in pre host we will get trans product so one oh will be like this right and one more will be below the plane like this oh after hydrolysis everything you will ask sir why not this compound see which i am writing now this oh let me make it below and this oh let me make it above right i will tell yes it's true we will get two product if you, if you know this uh, numbering r and s conformation then you will do it nicely right so uh, if you can able to do this r and s right so can you do just let us do for this see oh gets first preference second to this third here so it goes clockwise and uh, uh, hydrogen which is fourth preference is below the plane so it is r whereas here it is one two and three so it is anti clockwise it should be yes but hydrogen is above the plane so it is r so it is also r it is also r right so here what happens see one sorry one two and three right so it will be one two three so it should be r but it will be s yes, because hydrogen is above this side one two three it should be r sorry it should be s yes, and it is s yes. see i got racemic product right so here in pre host reaction most of the time we will get racemic product racemic product i hope you know this right because we have studied this in stereochemistry what racemic product if i have two carbon here one is r and r and i have one mo one more same everything molecular formula everything same but it is mirror image will be yes yes so we call it as racemic mixture right because we have got both the product we will get r r also and yes yes product both product will get in this uh, pre host reaction so if you very thorough with this plane of symmetry everything then you can directly do that both are optically active and um, will get uh, different uh, different product and both will be racemic mixture you can tell uh, if you want to do r r and s nomenclature then also you can tell it's also better otherwise you can tell with experience you will get it right so let us see one more example what kind of alkene it is so this is cis alkene right to this cis alkene so pre host reaction means water should be absent first step i'll add agoac in presence of iodine water is not there second step i will do this hydrolysis uh, there i will use water right so first step so i will get i have told always trans diol so one will be above here one will be below here oh you will ask sir uh, one more product let i will make this as below and i will make this as above yeah i will tell yeah it's true uh, and i will ask you to do r and s nomenclature if you do see here One two three, so it will be um, anti-clockwise. So it is yes here. Whereas here, let us do here one two three, and it should it should be R, but uh, H is above the plane here because uh, four priority should be below the plane. So it becomes yes. Right. This thing you know, I hope. Right. So uh, I think you know. So I am directly writing it here. So it it should be yes, but H is above the plane. It will be R. 
whereas here 1 2 3 it is r and it will remain r so here see s is converted to r and s is converted to r so this is nothing but a racemic mixture i will get let us try with this trans alkene all right so i have got this trans sorry sorry not trans i drew this only now let me remove this i will make like this right i hope you know this this is nothing but trans i i hope why it is not working man sometimes i don't know what happens with my laptop it stops working right so this is my trans alkene same thing above thing i will add so i will tell so we will get again two products here one side i will make this oh above and this oh below and one one more side i will make this thing this oh below and this oh above i will do like this you will tell right so i will ask you to do r and s nomenclature if you do what happens see so oxygen is there one two three it is anti clockwise yes and here one two three it is also anti clockwise but uh, h is above the plane it will be r i am telling h is above the plane means here hydrogen will be there which is above the plane which i never show because these things you should know right so i will i am going to di write directly them right s and r so s and r means see here here also i have methyl group here also i have methyl group here also oh group is there here also oh group is there here h is there here also h is there here h is there so everything is same one is s one is r so one is rotating like this one is rotating ulta so inter cancellation happens right so these compounds are called meso compounds meso compounds so these are optically inactive so i hope you know you you came up with meso compounds right so what are meso compounds meso compounds are the compounds which have got two or more chiral carbons right but they will be optically inactive the reason is inter cancellation two carbon is there one will be s one will be r so inter cancellation uh, those will be meso compound right i hope you have studied so these meso compounds will have if you come to this group theory they will have this uh, center of symmetry and also they have got plane of symmetry plane of symmetry sigma right these things will be there if you could able to draw otherwise i will show you see here so it is like this right so one oh is above this oh is below see here you can observe this methyl and this methyl both are there right so both if you see they have got center of inversion see from this center they will pass so they have got, and this also this oh is above and that oh is below if you see they have got center of inversion i i hope you got it right so because those which have got this symmetry elements they will be optically inactive there are so many symmetry elements right so there is plane of symmetry center of symmetry uh, so many things uh, rotation axis of symmetry cn will be there and sn uh, reflection uh, actions of single so many if either one is there then the compound becomes optically inactive here it has got this also and also if you could able to draw this thing like this if you draw it will be like it will come like this only here one h here one h here methyl here methyl because of this here you can draw same thing i have drawn here how to draw from this wedge bond to this fissure everything i have explained in uh, stereochemistry if you see that there you will understand so it has got plane of symmetry above plane and this below both are same oh is getting cut with oh hydrogen hydrogen and methyl methyl so it has got this plane of symmetry so it is optically inactive such compounds we call it as meso compounds right so all those things i have explained what are meso compounds right so we used to get s and r so this product let us see whether it is a different product or the same product let us check that right so see here here also if a number one two three so it is anti clockwise but it is r as h is above see here if i show h will be above because of which it will be ulta r s becomes r that thing you have studied i guess right here what happens so it, it should be yes but yeah it is yes right so see here this is also s yes and r this is also s yes and r if you count from this see here i hope you are getting it otherwise let me draw again it both the things i'll draw again right here oh is above and this oh is below 
here it is ulta right let me make it this oh is below and this oh is above so here i got see here here i got s and r whereas here i got r and s right so we will tell sir both are different product because s and r r and s we got but the thing is it's not that see if i count from this carbon see one two three and four uh, if i count uh, let us assume that it is two and three carbon see here so c2 is having r c3 is having s right here if i count like this see here if i count like this one to this two here three here and four here here also you will get c2 is r c3 is s so both the compounds are same only uh, so these compounds are not racemic mixture my aim is to tell these compounds are not racemic mixture i hope uh, you have studied this stereochemistry uh, because see here here also it has got this i center of inversion so center of inversion i is there here for this also see this methyl this methyl is opposite this oh and this h will be opposite similarly hydrogen will be opposite so this is also having i whenever this uh, center of inversion optically when they comes optically inactive the the product will be same so these are not racemic mixture but both are same only i hope i could able to explain it if you know the basics then you will understand it otherwise i think i have made you confusion <laughs> i don't know but you should know these things right and these all are basics and now i am uh, explaining about msc fourth semester so i should not tell uh, you that you, you have learnt in bsc right so if i keep on telling those things uh, you will forget these things right so just be thorough with that and i hope you have understood so what have what we learnt so whenever like this compound is there cis uh, we used to get racemic mixture so here also we got racemic mixture because here these are optically active s s r r are optically active they don't have any center of inversion plane of symmetry anything so these are not meso compounds right these are not meso compounds whereas trans if you see dihydroxylation if we do trans product will get and if you see it has got i center of inversion and plane of symmetry right so because of which these compounds will be meso compounds so both the product will be same only we won't get racemic mixture that's the thing i wanted to explain right in next class let us see few more reactions of this woodward till then take care and have a great day